Well, Mike, just sum up your thoughts after that. It was the tail of two halves for Cornwall, wasn't it, really? Blown away in the first half, but much improved after the turnaround. Yeah, I thought we were a bit, started a bit soft. Uh, just sort of let them have their own way in a bag, put it in, to, you know. Uh, and we just never, we never recovered from that slow start. You know what I mean? And then we need to find a bit more resolve to dig in when things go against us. You know what I mean? To like win that momentum back. Can you put your finger on exactly what they did better than us in that opening 20 minutes? Uh, yeah, the annoying thing was what they did to us is what we spoke about in the week. And I said it, I said it in the, the, the uh, pre-match interview to yourself. They're just an honest, hard work inside. You know, they earn the right to play the rugby they want to play. So we knew what was coming. And from the kickoff, it was a terrible bouncing ball sort of bounced back on us and they got momentum from that and they broke early and they scored early and we never recovered. But to give them a lot of credit, and I'll give them the credit they deserved, they didn't sort of then, they didn't go away from their processes. They stuck to them, carried hard and earned the right to play. And we just struggled to deal with it and win momentum back and it's, it's just a game of momentum. After <clears> half time though, you must have been pleased with our improved showing and perhaps six points wasn't just desserts for our endeavours? No, I think I think the turn came to just before half time, probably last last ten or five minutes at a half, I thought you, you saw the game swing a little bit. Do you know what I mean? And, and I think they they spilled the ball early in the tackle count and then we turned it all, we got it back and we sort of built them a little bit of pressure then. And in the second half it carried on and that was good. But we can't give teams 30 plus points and then think, ah, oh, we'll start playing now. It's going to be a long season if we do that. The red card perhaps overshadowed Midlands's win. Do you think that was born out of frustration for how well we had played in that second half? Yeah, I, I don't want to come across as massively negative, but I'll be honest about our performance. But I thought in the second half, we built pressure. We camped on their line. We were held up four or five times over the line. Do you know what I mean? And, and we did that off the back of what we'd spoke about in the week, building pressure. You know, you don't, you earn the right to play, you know, not everything has to have bells and whistles on it. You, you win that right to play. And, and we did that. We did that in that second half. We played in their half. We didn't push it too much. We were happy to play in their half. So that side of it, I was really, really happy with. Looking forward to next week. Does the second half performance give you much encouragement when we welcome Rochdale Mayfield to the Memorial Ground in the Challenge Cup? Yeah, I, I, I'm not, I'm not. I'm upset about the result, you know, I'm disappointed in the result, but I have faith in my players. I know what they can do, you know what I mean? And I know that in the, in the week, and I spoke about it, and I used that word about ownership when I, you know, in one of the interviews I did, and I know the players will do that and we'll sit down and we'll be really truthful with one another about today's performance, do you know what I mean? And we'll, we'll move on from that in training this week and we'll use that second half a sort of momentum and a springboard to kick us into that game. So I'm still I'm confident in that game. Yeah. Mike, thanks ever so much for your time. Yeah, no problem.